The dumbest thing I have ever seen a fellow musician do. What was that? Man, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Um, dumb, it just knows no limits in rock music, you know, really. <laughs> I mean, there's just levels of dumbness that... Um, one time we were, we, we, we were on a tour. It was certainly the worst tour we ever did, which was uh, um, opening for White Zombie, you know. And uh, uh, their sound guy made us stop sound checking because it was bothering Rob while he was eating. <laughs> And I remember thinking, what is he eating? A fucking Fabergé egg omelet? You know? <laughs> it's like joking. You know, whatever. It was an endless amount of that stuff. You know, endless, endless. People, I don't know, people, for some reason, they either don't believe those stories or they, they think that um, since we haven't sold millions of records, our opinion doesn't count. You know, but you know, whatever. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> I could go on and on. Have we ever had a real life Spinal Tap story on stage? Well, for us, like the Melvins, um, we don't really inc incorporate a lot of outside things like, you know, costume. We wear costumes, but we don't have like, uh, you know, stage props or anything that could, you know, like a, like a, like a, uh, um, like a uh, uh, Stonehenge type of thing to have happen. Um, so that's never really happened to us. I mean, we've had things like, you know, I've fallen down and stuff like that, but that's not really, you know, people do that in their living room. It's not really a, you know, big production planning and then have it not work. Um, I've seen that kind of thing happen, you know, um, with other bands but, um, that we've played with, but um, I haven't seen a, I've, I've never had that happen. We, we kind of feel like there's enough of that stuff going on. People shouldn't look to us to have those kinds of things happen. If you want to see a band that has a big production number and all those kinds of things, that we're not the band to go see, you know, for that kind of thing. And, um, um, but, you know, we've had things like, you know, equipment failures and stuff like that, but that doesn't really count either, you know. One time I saw, we, we were playing with Kiss, uh, when they first put their makeup back on, and Gene would do this thing where he'd fly up under the, ra up into the lighting rig. And so then he'd sing God of Thunder or something up there, you know. And, and then the lights go out and they have something going on, and he's supposed to come, you know, they lower him back down on these strings. Well, the lights are out, and they lower him back down, and then when they bring the lights up, he's supposed to be, you know, standing on stage. Well, they lowered him down to where his feet were just, just barely just barely off the ground. So he's, he's sitting there, ah, they haven't quite lowered him up. Then they drag him across the stage, you know, accidentally. So stuff like that was really funny. That's pretty funny. But we, we like those guys a great deal. I mean, Gene's always been nice to us. And, you know, he's a, a real rock star. He's always treated me well. You know, I, I liked him. I liked, liked those guys a great deal. Personally, they were, they were very nice to us. So.